Welcome to this video learning session. When you complete the session, you'll understand basic object-oriented terms and concepts. You'll also learn how various symbols are used in object diagrams. In this session, you'll learn basic object modeling terms and concepts, how to use symbols in object diagrams, and how you can use a case tool to create object symbols and diagrams. An object represents a real person, place, event, or transaction. Object-oriented analysis shows how objects behave, how they interact, and how they perform real-world functions and tasks. Let's start with some object-oriented terms, including unified modeling language, objects, attributes, methods, messages, classes, inheritance, actors, use cases, use case diagrams. You won't need to memorize the terms, you'll learn them from the examples we'll show. You can use the Unified Modeling Language, or UML for short, to create object diagrams. The UML is a general purpose tool and is not tied to any specific programming language or technique. Your textbook uses many UML terms, concepts, and symbols. Here are some examples of objects. When a patient makes a medical appointment, the patient is an object, the doctor is an object, and the appointment itself is an object. Now let's use UML symbols. The stick figures are entities called actors. The oval that contains the action is called a use case and the overall diagram is called a use case diagram. Attributes are the characteristics of an object. For example, a student object might have a student ID, a name, an address, a date of birth, a GPA, activities, and so on. A part object might have a part number, a description, a storage location, a supplier, a current stock level, and so on. Depending on your information needs, an object could have five attributes or 50. Methods are the tasks that an object can perform. They are built-in capabilities that the object has. For example, an instructor object might teach classes, post grades, submit rosters, advise students, and so on and a student object might add a class, drop a class, request an advisor, change an address, and so on. Messages are commands that tell an object to perform a specific method or task. When certain events occur, an object can send a message to another object, requesting a certain action. For example, a server object at a fast food restaurant might send a message to a preparer object that causes the more fries method to be performed. An object belongs to a group called a class. All objects in the class share common attributes and methods. For example, the vehicle class might have make and model attributes and start and stop methods. Objects within a class can be grouped into subclasses. For example, the vehicle class might have subclasses for cars, minivans, trucks, or even school buses. In a fitness center, the employee class might have subclasses for managers, office staff, and fitness instructors. All members of a class and subclass share certain common attributes and methods, but can have other distinctive attributes and methods of their own. Here's a tip. The word object can refer to an entire class or just one instance of that class. For example, a student object might mean the entire student class, or it might mean one specific student. 
The meaning is usually clear from the way the term is used. Once you understand classes, the concept of inheritance makes sense. Inheritance means that a child object gets one or more attributes and methods from another object called a parent. A child object also can have other attributes and methods of its own. For example, consider the employee and instructor. Notice that the instructor object inherits five attributes and three methods from the employee object, but has an additional attribute of its own. Part 2 is an introduction to object modeling. As you'll see, an object diagram can use generic shapes, UML symbols, or both. Here's an object relationship diagram for a fitness center that uses generic shapes. Rounded rectangles show the fitness center objects, and arrows show the relationships. This model uses UML symbols. The student and instructor objects are shown as stick figures called actors because they interact with the system. The oval symbol represents a transaction or event called a use case. And the overall model is called a use case diagram. In part three, We'll use a case tool to create examples of object symbols and diagrams. We'll use Visible Analyst to develop an object relationship diagram. Then, we'll create a simple use case diagram with UML symbols. We'll use rectangle symbols for our object relationship diagram. We'll start with the employee object, which also is a class. Next, We'll add three subclasses of employee, manager, office staff, and instructor. Here are the other objects in the fitness center system. With the symbols in place, we can start to add connecting lines. We'll also add descriptive labels. Because they are subclasses, manager, office staff, and instructor will inherit certain attributes and methods of the employee class. Here are the other relationships and labels. And here is the finished diagram. You'll learn how to create more detailed models in another video learning session. Now, we'll use Visible Analyst to create a simple use case diagram. First, we'll add a use case called Create Class Roster and two actors named Student and Registrar. Finally, we'll show the interaction and labels. That's all there is to it. The case tool stores the descriptions of the classes, objects, and use cases, so we can reuse them in other areas of the model. In this session, you learned about basic object modeling terms and concepts, how to use symbols in object diagrams, and how you can use a case tool to create object symbols and diagrams. For more information, you can refer to the textbook or your student study tool. Now it's your turn to apply your skills and check your work. For background information, tasks to complete, and sample answers, go to the Management Information Systems Coursemate at www.cengagebrain.com. Select this text and navigate to the video learning sessions. Thanks for attending this video learning session.